Hello, my name is Witt. I'm a product manager on Landing Lens, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a cat detector using Landing Lens. Let's get started. First, we're going to name our project. And then we're going to capture some images. Um, so for this, I'll need my trusty helper, my cat Kunu. Um, first, we're going to take some photos, though, without him in the frame. So I'll just kind of snapshot. We'll see the pictures collecting down here. And then the next, the tricky bit, getting him to take some photos. All right. Now we've captured some pictures of Kunu. Now we can upload those. Fantastic. So now our next step is to give some input for the model. So essentially telling the model what we want it to look for. And so in this case, we're looking for a cat. I'm going to switch to my label tab and I'm going to create a target class that I want it to detect, which will be cat. Okay. Have that class, we're just going to do some labeling. And labeling is essentially just clicking and dragging a square that surrounds the object of interest. And then you go to your next image. Uh, you can hit next, or you can use your arrow keys. And then uh, again, just kind of labeling uh, our target item. So I'll go ahead and do this quickly, and uh, then we'll get training a model. Okay. So now as we reach the end, you'll note that the picture is without the cat. I was labeling with nothing to label in the bottom right. Um, and so now we have all our images and we're going to train a model. It's as easy as going to the top right and clicking train. And then uh, in about uh, three or four minutes, what you'll see is we'll provision a computer in the cloud to do the training for you. We'll send it all your data and the model parameters, uh, details telling the model how to train itself. And then uh, what you'll see is a error curve, which implies how well your model's learning the data. And hopefully this error will drop as it trains. So we should see that drop here briefly. And then finally, it'll just load our metrics and show us how well this model is detecting Kunu, the cat. All right, so our model has finished training. We can look at just our prediction. So if you unclick ground truth, we'll see the dotted lines of the model predicting where the cat is. We can see that it's successfully detected the cat 100% of the time. Um, and so now let's uh, run this live. Let's see how it actually works on live images that we're uploading. So I'll hit run live and we'll be able to capture images of the cat with our webcam. Great. And so now we're ready to test our model. Um, I'll take a photo without Kunu. And so that will test on our model without him. And I'll pick him up one more time. It doesn't get sad. And we'll take some photos. <laughs> OK. And so now we should be able to see, OK, it didn't detect a cat. And there we have 96% confidence it's a cat, 93% confidence it's a cat. So we know our model is working pretty well and can detect cats uh, decently well. So great work and uh, good luck on your next project.